Good morning, remote learners. Today, I'd like to talk to you guys about shading, how to create volume by using value. So, on the left here, you've got a circle. On the right here, you've got a sphere. This is a lot easier than you might think. So, before I get started, we're gonna talk about some vocab. All right, we're gonna talk about light source, highlights, midtones, reflection, reflected light, Shadows, cast shadows, we're going to use a minimum of five tones to make this look dimensional. And we're going to try to avoid kind of hard outlines. So, first thing you want to do is this. Have some kind of an object that you can trace for your circle. If you have art pencils, it's fabulous. If not, your number two school pencil will work just fine. Um, an eraser, and if you have access to a sharpener, a sharpener as well. Um, now, if you're really lucky, you have blenders at home. Um, so, over here, I'm gonna draw a circle. My circle is screaming for volume. So, in order to make an object feel like it has volume, you got to shade. So, you want to think about where your light source is, which in this case, I'm just going to make it up. I'm going to say that my light source is coming from here. So if my light source, I'm going to put a little sunshine in there for you, is coming from there, it means that that surface right there is going to be lighter than the surface over here because it's receiving more light. So I'm going to kind of leave that area alone. I'm lucky because I do have art pencils at home. Um, I'm using a 4B right now. I am going to venture to guess that my, actually I'm gonna step it up to a 6B if I have it. I do. I'm going to venture to guess that the darkest area on my sphere is gonna be the area furthest away from the sun. With the one exception of a little bit of reflected light that you would see here. So I'll leave a little bit of space where I can leave a little bit of the white of the page uh, kind of peeking through. So I'm getting my dark value in there. Then I'm gonna sneak into kind of some mid-tones because this area of the sphere is receiving a little bit more light. If you'll notice when I'm shading, I'm not just going like that. I'm actually shading with the shape of my object, meaning if it's a circular object, then I'm using circular lines. That will also give it more of a sense of volume than it would if I did just go straight across like that. Um, I'm gonna pull my shading into kind of the center. I'm not even gonna take my finger, if you're really lucky, like I said, a blender, and I'm gonna blend it. All right, I'm gonna cheat, I'm using my blender. You really can do the same thing with your finger. Um, so, at this point, I'm feeling pretty good about the volume I've created. I'm gonna pop out some highlights over here because that's where the sun is hitting my sphere. I'm gonna blend a little bit more, but I'm missing something. If there is light coming from up here and it's um, shining upon a sphere, it's gonna create a cast shadow right down here where no lit light is hitting the surface of whatever my sphere is lying upon. So, common mistake is students are like, okay, I'll make a cast shadow. And they make a circle. It's gonna depend on how your light is reflecting upon your object. Meaning, in this case, it's coming from the upper right-hand corner. So really, it's going to extend a shadow kind of to that bottom left-hand corner. And on top of that, it's going to kind of elongate that sphere into more of an elliptical shape instead of a circular shape. So, in this case, it's kind of the opposite of how we shaded the sphere in that the darkest values are gonna be right where the sphere is casting that shadow onto the surface. And then it's gonna kind of get lighter as it 
um, moves that way. I'm on one cup of coffee, so I'm not quite um, able to talk yet. My apologies. Okay, so here I have created a sense of volume so that now I have a sphere instead of try to cover that a circle. Um, imagine doing this when you are doing any kind of a drawing and how much it will help your pieces. Um, I generally suggest using a minimum of five shades. Um, I also, you guys are probably familiar with this phrase, but I'm like, use your blackest black, your whitest white, and everything in between to give something a volume. Um, I think that was longer than I intended, my bad. Um, make art every day and have a good day.